Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 16th through the 30th. Please know that this is not going to resonate with every Cancerian out there. Take the parts that do resonate with you and apply it to your love life, career, finances, spiritual, or personal aspects um, of your life, okay? Know that um, the time is fluid and it's also timeless. So whenever you're seeing this video is when you're actually meant to see this video, okay? Know that you can switch the genders and the scenarios. You can change it to make it fit how it fits for your life, okay? All right, and if you're new to my channel, something that I do is that before each video, I tap into the energy of the zodiac sign for the collective. And some of the energies that I picked up on for you, Cancer, was some of you need to, again, this might not resonate with everyone, and this might be small portions. It's all scenario-based. Um, cancer, like some of you are needing to like back away from something, maybe take a step back from something, or maybe take a step back from someone. But then there is another portion of you that I feel like you're very focused on somebody. Okay, Cancer? So this might turn into a love reading for you. <laughs> um, so some of you are needing to take some space away from someone, like back up, you know, maybe it's not fully taking space, but it's just kind of backing up and seeing something. And then some of you are like, some of you are like um, Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott right now is like, feed me. <laughs> I'm going straight to the end zone. Okay. All right. So let's pull a card to just tap into your energy or pull a card to just see what your energy is all about for September 16th through the 30th. I did already pre-shuffle my cards, but just want to be a little bit on camera. All right. Thank you to those that are that have been donating to my channel. I really do appreciate it. I'm so grateful and thankful for you. Um, this definitely helps keep me going. This keeps me energized and excited to, you know, do more readings and get these out for you. Okay. All right. So, and if you are looking to donate to my channel, you can check, check my PayPal link in the description box below. All right, so the overall energy I'm picking up for you, Cancer, is the five of fire, okay? So this is connected to an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy, or uh, this could be in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone um, of the zodiac. So I'm feeling like somebody is waiting for you to say something to them automatically. That's what I'm feeling. It's like, what what is it that you know, you're not saying or someone's waiting for you to say something. I feel like for some of you that are, you know, focused on this path, this direction or this purpose, it's like somebody is waiting for you to come in and say something to them. Okay. I feel like you have all of these like ideas around you and maybe you're feeling a bit conflicted. Maybe there is some change that's on the horizon for you. You're like right in the center of a shift right now. But, and maybe you're feeling a bit conflicted about which direction you want to move in with this person, okay? So, um, and maybe there could have been like some sort of disagreement or maybe there's a little bit of tension, but maybe there's some sort of conflict there as well. So again, five of earth as your overall energy. Um, but I feel like some of you are in this very fluid stage of just, being in this knowing, but again, I feel like some of you might be protect protecting yourself. Some of you might be focusing on just you right now, focusing on, you know, how to, you know, make life, live your best life, basically, that's what I'm feeling. And this number three is about um, creativity. It's about collaboration. So some of you are probably focused on that, you know, just having a good time. This Ace of Water here, okay, connected to a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy, I feel like somebody's coming in with some sort of love offer for you. And I feel within this offer, okay, some of you, again, are taking your time with this. You definitely be patient, okay, figure figure out what it is that you want to do, okay, because um, this Patience card is coming out too. And again, I feel like some of you, again, are you're protecting protecting your, yourself in some sort of way, okay? Because maybe you're feeling conflicted or you just don't want to go through any conflict because maybe this is something that you recently, you know, you recently got out of a relationship 
and you're just, you know, you're trying to heal from that and all of the, you know, this pain and this change as your life has maybe drastically changed from this past relationship and you're not like wanting to move forward right away. So for some of you, you might have that energy of taking a step back and surveying the scene, figuring out if this is exactly what you want to do. I do feel like with this seven of water, you do have options and opportunities that are coming in for you. Okay. But just make sure that you don't, you know, let yourself fall into a place of disillusionment. Okay. Maybe, you know, see, see with the, you know, with the clear eye and, you know, hear with the clear ear, you know, so for those of you that are taking this step back and really seeing, you know, surveying the land, make sure you're making the right decision for you. Okay. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of options. And again, these options come in different shapes, sizes, um, different everything. Okay. So there's a lot, there's a lot happening around you right now. Actually, I'm sorry. My light is a little low. Let's see if I can turn this up. Some. Okay. So make sure you're seeing that seven of water there. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so that is some of the, you know, overall energy for you, um, cancer. All right. So let me shuffle these and let's see what's going on with you. Okay. When it comes to the love department. Okay, what messages do you have for cancer when it comes to love? What messages do you have for cancer when it comes to love? Okay, we have the magician, we have the ten of swords, and we also have the ten of wands. Wow, so there's a lot of like transformation happening. There's a new cycle cycle starting for you for you guys. Some of you have probably been in your head about things. Um, but this 10 of swords, um, picking up the energy, some of you could be dealing with, um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or an, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. So at the center of this, as I said, is the 10 of swords here. And I feel like some of you, you, this overall energy that you, maybe you have come out of, this was in the past, you've come in out of this backstabbing kind of betrayal energy. Some of you are just taught, you know, tired, you're exhausted. You just don't want to move. Maybe some of you even have health issues. You're having issues with your back as well. Um, could be due, due to, you know, I don't know what it's, where, what it's from, but, but I'm feeling like, you know, some of you could be in this energy of being, of feeling physically debilitated, or maybe some of you are feeling mentally debilitated as well. Okay. So, um, there's also this energy of creation of you manifesting things okay but making sure that you're manifesting the right things okay um because you know it could end up being in this position again of you know this backstabbing betrayal energy but i do some feel like some of you are feeling burdened you have a heavy load um see, excuse me this is probably for some of you that that have that has a home has a family but i feel like there's a lot of responsibilities that you might be taking on um, that you might be taking on right now, or maybe this was just in your recent past, taking on this energy um, from whatever. Let's see what else. We have the Ten of Cups as well. So there is this energy with the Ten of Cups that, you know, there is, you know, for some of you, you might be in this happy state, this blissful state. There's a coming together between you and you and your partner or, you know, if you're married or in a committed relationship or if you're single with children or, you know, there's a closer family dynamics coming through. I feel like somebody like wants to help you overcome whatever this is that you're going through, this energy that you've kind of been in. Some of you, again, have recently been in this energy and maybe you're better now or some of you are actually in this energy right now. Of, um, of that. Yeah. And look at that. There's a lot of tens on the board. We have four tens here. Let me show you that. There's a lot of change that is happening for you right now. There's a new cycle that you are like birthing. You're definitely in a birthing stage right now. And that's, that's why I feel like you're coming out of this. Okay. For some of you, you're coming out of this energy of the 10 of swords here and this 10 of wands feeling burdened feeling tired, feeling drained. Um, but 
I feel like, you know, nonetheless, there is this happiness with this 10 of cups and your, you know, your focus right now is about family, how to build family. You know, who are you going to build a family with? So that energy is there for some of you guys as well. Okay. So I do want to pull, do we want to pull our advice right now? Or do we want to do some Oracle cards? Yeah, let's do some, um, let's pull some advice for you. Okay. What advice do you have for cancer when it comes to love? What advice do you have for cancer when it comes to love? I have the four of pentacles, the four of swords, and the world card. Okay, now this advice is this four. Okay, so I feel like there's this energy of, you know, some of you um, are needing to protect your heart as you move forward. Okay, you need to protect your heart, your heart space, your assets, whatever it is, because some of you are feeling... Um, there's like this energy of, you know, feeling, again, I don't know, for some of you, this might be this energy of feeling heavy, but I feel like some of you are, you know, trying to find some sort of self-control or maybe some of you are being controlled um, and it's something that, you, you know, you're just not comfortable with, but I feel like you're in this stage of, you know, trying to create some sort of security trying to find your place in this world um, and still trying to hold on to still trying to hold on to something okay so you know maybe maybe some of you could be holding on to a relationship or I don't know but the center of your reading is the four of swords okay again so again some of you are dealing with this air sign um, but we do have like all the signs on the board except for the water sign yeah, so some of you could be dealing with air, fire, or, well, there is a lot of fun, but air, fire, or an earth sign, some of you can be dealing with. But definitely the advice is, the center of this reading is you guys need to rest, okay? You guys definitely need to take some time, some time off. You need to contemplate things. Maybe some of you need to meditate. Um, I feel like there are some things that you're not seeing or you're not paying attention to with this four of swords here, um, but I feel like you know, you're wanting to create some sort of um, structure, some sort of stability, um, some sort of foundation. And maybe some of you are stuck in the energy of not knowing how to do that. And I feel like you're just in this energy of constantly trying to just like make it happen, make it happen, make it happen, instead of really taking a step back. And again, maybe this is where this energy is coming in of you taking a step back, step back so that you can begin to see what it is that you need to work on when it comes to um, a relationship with yourself and a relationship with others. And I feel like when you start to realize this, things are going to start changing and I feel like you're going to start seeing it in your in your life. Some of you can also, I'm feeling this energy, if someone, someone could be traveling or moving, I'm picking up that energy as well, okay? But I feel like uh, nonetheless, there's going to be this energy of this shift, that things are going to start sh shifting in your favor. Things are going to feel faded. I feel like, you know, you're just going to have this knowing of, oh, wow, this is for me. Okay. Because I feel like with this five of air, you're coming out of this conflict. Your, your energy is like you're coming out of this conflict. Someone is waiting for you to say something or you're waiting for something to say something to you. And it's almost like you'll have like this aha moment. Or this, you know, it's almost like an element of surprise I'm feeling like too for some of you with whatever it is, this information that's coming towards you, whatever this shift, I feel like you're integrating something into your world. Let's clarify. Um, I want to clarify this four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? Why is cancer holding on to, what is cancer holding on to? Or what are they not letting into their space? Okay, the two of staffs, the ten of swords, some of you are just not letting go of a past relationship, whether it's physically or emotionally, I feel like you're just, maybe some of you are thinking about it a lot, but it's on your mind, and maybe for some of you, this is recent for some of you, um, a separation or something. 
but I do feel this energy of like you still feeling hurt, like you're not completely healed from whatever this is, and this is why you're feeling so guarded, because that's that's the energy that, that's the word I was looking for too. You're feeling so guarded right now, and you're not wanting to, you know, you're not wanting to open up to new things because you're still in this healing process of really trying to overcome this feeling of, dang, somebody really did me wrong, or maybe you did someone wrong and they left you and result as a result of that and you feel butthurt now because of something you've done and they left you and now you're the one left butthurt. But I do feel like there's this energy of, you know, you, you know, trying to work on turning your back to that pain, like turning a blind eye to it, like leaving that in the past because it's definitely in the past. And um, this three of coins here, it's letting me know that there is this energy of, you know, maybe someone coming in to help you offer a helping hand with that as well. Maybe this could be a new person, um, a new love interest, or maybe this can just be someone that, you know, you, you're trusting of and very open you're okay with being open to expressing how you feel. I do want to clarify why this three of coins is here. Is here. Could be an earth sign that you could be dealing with um, or, you know, communicating with. Yeah, for some of you, you were definitely in some third party situation or you're going to be or you are in some sort of third party situation with someone, um, possibly an air sign. Again, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And maybe some of you are seeking um, some sort of assistance from an earth sign to help you through this, help you through this pain. This page of swords here too. I feel like this uh, this three of swords and this page of swords, it's almost like, yeah, I feel like this air sign like definitely got away with it. And I feel like, you know, I feel like they're not, they're feel like they're not sharing all of the information. Maybe they're not sharing the details. Maybe you want the details. To each its own. I probably wouldn't want the details, but maybe some of you are wanting the details of what happened. And I feel like this, you know, this page of swords, again, this Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy is not quite sharing all of the, the details of why they have done what they, why they did what they did. Or maybe this could be your energy if you, you're the one that um, was involved in the third party situation, that you brought the third party into this situation. And then there's a lot of hurt from your partner again this air sign that some of you are dealing with but i feel like it's almost like this energy of you know someone's keeping something in the pocket they're not sharing all of the details of it or maybe this hasn't even come out yet for some of you because this is the advice portion so maybe for some of you this this energy hasn't even come to light quite yet i feel like if it hasn't some of you are um are still in this trying to find little details trying to find some sort of evidence so that you can confront this person. Why is this three of coins here? I'm not going to take that. Oh, that's way too many. Hold on. Let's try this one more time, Cancer. <laughs> that one wants to come out. Three of Cups, again, yeah, so now we have, again, the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Cups, so now we got a lot of threes coming out. This is this is quadruple confirmation with this three that somebody is creating something, whether they're, cre they're creating some sort of habit, they're creating some havoc, some sort of, um, you know, emotional pain, some sort of hurt, but I do feel like um, there is some sort of third-party situation that you're trying to seek some help with or they're trying to seek some help with or there is just somebody else that's just involved right now and they're just way too in your business this could also play out as you might know this person okay this could be a mutual friend um this can be um, some sort of mutual acquaintance that you know i'm picking up that energy that you might know this person cancer okay is there anything else you want to say about this three of coins i do want to pull um I'm going to pull a couple um, love cards on that too. All right. Why is this three of coins here? Um, so I'm pulling this give your relationship a chance energy. So um, I don't know exactly what that means for you. Let's see. Let me just pull one more card and maybe we'll clarify that. We'll see. 
Ooh. Why is this three of coins here? Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm pulling the give your relationship a chance card, which is work on your partnership. But, and then I'm also pulling this card, this uh, Oracle card, you know what to do in all battles of heart over, over the mind, go with your heart because truly it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind a whole lot. Okay. So maybe some of you know that you might be in this situation, but maybe is, you know, giving, giving yourself this chance. And for some of you, maybe you're needing to step back just a little bit. Again, see the whole picture and figure out why this is happening and maybe still give this relationship some sort of chance moving forward. Okay. All right. Let's see. Why is the, uh, why is the world card here for cancer? The moon in reverse. The Queen of Coins and the Will of Fortune. Okay. So I feel like um, after you figure out what this is that's going on and, you know, you, you know, you survey the land, talk about this, communicate with one another and come to a conclusion of what it is that you want to do moving forward between the two of you. Um, you definitely need to rest, meditate on this, definitely contemplate, definitely, definitely don't just jump into anything right now. Even if you are in this relationship, don't just jump into like, okay, everything's good. We're going to just work this out. Really take some time to think about this so that you're not continuing to come to, um, repeat the same patterns moving forward. Okay. Because I feel like when you take this time out to yourself to contemplate, take this step back, okay, Cancer, the world card comes in and it's like there is a new beginning happening, happening. there's a shift, there's a new, there's an integration that's happening and things can be turning for sure, you know, in your favor. Um, but I'm feeling like with this this moon card in reverse, I feel like some of you could be now you're not in the dark because it's like you have the answers that you need as far as this third party situation that some of you are involved in. Um, now it's like you don't, you're not left in the dark. You kind of have like, you know what's going on behind your back. Like it's no longer going on behind your back. So you know what's happening. Okay. Um, and then this queen of coins and then the will of fortune. So, um, some of you could also be dealing with the, an earth sign, um, but the, the uh, you know, the air sign is pretty, is pretty prevalent in this reading, but you could be dealing with um, an earth sign as well. But I feel like as you're, you know, stepping out of, you know, this phase of now I have all the answers that I need, that I need, I feel like you step into a more confident phase with this, you know, with this, um, with this um queen of with the queen of coins here i feel like now you're not you won't be reluctant to be you know providing and nurturing um you know because maybe you had lacked some of that because you were just feeling in the dark about something cancer so i feel like you know there's there's this energy for you to be more nurturing and loving moving forward because now you have you have you have the information and maybe it's, you know, you, either you or your partner sharing the reason why there's a third party situation because of something they're lacking. And this feels just like the, the Capricorn reading that I just did, uh, you know, really needing to communicate. So maybe some of you, if you have Capricorn somewhere in your chart, maybe you want to watch that reading as well. But communication is going to be very, very, you know, a, a big deal for you this portion of the month as you as we're transitioning into the fall so that as we transition into fall you can let things literally fall away okay and this is the reason why you're in that space of you know conflict and change okay because you know something needs it was almost like your foundation needed to be shaken up a little bit for you to sit down and have a conversation about it okay cancer so you know, this wheel of fortune is here too. And it's like, look at the wheel, the wheel of fortune and the world card. Okay. Definitely things turning in your favor. Um, 
this new integration, this new, you know, this new shift that's happening is going to bring a lot of good luck, a lot of good energy to you. But first, you need to rest and contemplate. First, you need to figure out what the hell is going on um, in this third party situation. Then you need to rest and contemplate about it. And then you need to allow spirit to just let this divine intervention happen and let things turn in your favor, okay? Because it's going to be good things when you can come to this place of peacefulness, like this four of swords. Come into that place of peacefulness. It's going to be an, an inevitable for things to start shifting in your favor. Okay, Cancer. Now let's pull some outcome cards for you and then we'll close this out. Let me get a sip of water. Okay, well, what's the overall outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 16th through the 30th? Okay, last one. Okay, what's the overall energy for Cancer? What's the overall outcome? What's their outcome? Ooh. <laughs> One more. One more, please. One more, please. Just one. Just one. Ay, the tower card wanted to come out all day. Okay. So at the center of this at the center of your energy, the center of this is for your outcome is there is a new offer and love coming in for some of you. And this can just be a newfound, you know, connection or dynamic between you and your current partner. Or for some of you that are single, there is new love coming in for you. There's a new opportunity for that. It's like divine love. It's like good and juicy. I feel like you're going to be fulfilled with this energy as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot of love, a lot of happiness. Um, sorry, my eye is itchy. itchy. Um, this could also, you know, come in the form of creativity as well. But I feel like this is a new offer in love, okay? And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys have been planting seeds, okay? Continue to plant your seeds. They're going to start blossoming, okay? Um, don't leave anything behind. So for some of you, I'm hearing um, vision board. Start creating a vision board for yourself so you begin to start planting those seeds. And for some of and for those of you that already have your board or you know you've already, you're already manifesting these things, continue to manifest, okay? Because I feel like you've been working hard at something. You're just trying to create a lot in your life, okay? And I feel like you're going to with this seven with the seven of pentacles and this ace of cups. I feel like you're manifesting. You're going to be manifesting that partner that you've really been thinking about, that partner that's on your board. It may not be the specific person if some of you have an actual picture, a cutout, you know, from a magazine. It may not be that specific person, but, you know, if you have words describing what you want your partner to, you know, to look like, and to be like personality-wise and the core values of who they are, that's going to start manifesting for you. Um, and even if you are in a current relationship, you can still manifest things so that people begin to shift or, or you begin to shift. Maybe you can make a board for yourself on how you want to shift and so that you can bring certain things back into your space. Okay. And then this, the damn tower card, okay, is coming back out again. Um, so Capricorn energy this Ace of Cups is definitely your energy, Cancer, and then again, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. Um, so I do feel like for some of you, you might be moving, excuse me, and I feel like with this Tower card and the World card, the Tower came right up under the World. So some of you could be definitely traveling somewhere or physically moving to another location. Some of you could be moving your family to another location, or you can be you can say, you know, for those of you that just want to completely give up on this third party situation and you're just like, you know what, I'm over it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. You could be moving away, but just remember not to move away because you're running from something. OK, you know, you're moving away because it's a grand opportunity for you, but not because you don't want to run into this person at some point, run into, you know, them 
out at a grocery store or something of, of that nature. But make sure you're not doing it because you're you're afraid that you're going to run into something and old feelings are going to come back up for you. Okay. Why is this Ace of Cups? What is Cancer manifesting right now? Okay, so with this Knight of Swords, I have the Knight of Swords and I also have the Ace of Staffs. So I do feel like someone is coming towards you. Again, it could possibly be an air sign. Maybe, I don't know, Cancer, you're dealing with air signs. Uh, maybe that's just your thing. Or it could be a fire sign as well. But I do feel like there is some sort of new beginning. So if you are in a relationship currently with an air sign, there is an opportunity for a new beginning to happen between the two of you. And I feel like it's going to be real fiery, real fiery. OK, so, <laughs> um, yeah, this this night, this this night is about, you know, there's like a, there's energy. There is also, you know. There's passion here, um, and I feel like this is going to be energy that some of you could begin to um, develop in, in this relationship if you're still in this relationship. But I feel like somebody's going to come in real ambitious. Hopefully, I was picking up the word thirsty, but hopefully they're not thirsty because that could be unattractive for you <laughs> to you, Cancer. But you're all about you know emotions and how you're feeling, and and, and you're all about the connection. So. I feel like you need to definitely be connect, connected with this person. And I feel like this person is probably going to be the one taking action towards you. Um, so it's like, um, it's almost like, you know, kind of think quick on your feet. What do you want to do? Are you going to take it? Or are you going to leave it? Are you going to take it? Or are you going to leave it? Okay. So there is that opportunity for this new um, zesty, fiery love to come into your space. Let's see if there's anything else. Any other messages about this Ace of Cups for Cancer? Any other message about this Ace of Cups for Cancer? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. Look at that. So, again, Libra, Gemini, Aries energy here. I mean, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here for you. Some of you might just be having some breakthroughs or some new ideas might be coming through. You might be getting some mental clarity about something. But look, we have two aces here. So it's the ace of ace of staffs and the ace of swords. So it's like a double confirmation of like there is some new energy coming in for you. Um, whether this is you already in a relationship or not. But I feel like somebody might be offering you might or you might or somebody might be offering you you their hand in marriage, okay? Or someone may be accepting some sort of proposal from you, okay? And again, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? So I do feel like that, really, I do feel it's like a, an air sign here because it's a lot of air in your chart here. So there is that. I'm going to pull some love cards on that because that's kind of juicy. I feel like there's going to be a new start with you and this person and there might be some again there might be a proposal happening um and because i feel like you've manifested you've manifested this this is something that you've been asking for something you've been wanting okay and maybe this tower card here is maybe you two might be moving in together or some of you might be moving out or some of you might be moving somewhere else maybe some of you are moving in together somewhere else you're you're deciding to maybe give up your places and maybe find a place together. Okay, so why is this Ace of Cups here for Cancer? The Let Your Friends card help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let go of control, of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold because this is your soulmate. <laughs> wow, this is definitely your soulmate. So let go of your control issues, Cancer. Let your friends help you through this. Talk about it. Talk about this person. Let them help you weigh out your options or maybe let them, you know, give you different perspectives on the direction that you want to take. I do feel like you want to take this, you know, next step with them. This is your, this is definitely your soulmate. And again, like I said, it might be an air sign or a fire sign. Any other messages as to why this Ace of Cups is here? When it comes to love for cancer, what other messages do you have? 
This card says, what would love do? Do you know why it's so easy for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You know, I feel like you've given this person glimpses of your true love, despite what you've been through. And they see it and they love it and they want more of it. And so they, you might be, you know, with this world card here, you know, you may be giving them the world or they may be giving you the world. And this can just be a divine connection for sure. It is with this ace of staffs and this ace of swords here. Um, it says this card is hubba hubba. <laughs> Some of these quotes are hilarious. Um, you know what, you know, that dreamy look of deep soulful love you've sometimes seen in seen in the eyes of another as they gaze into your own expect a lot more of it look at that that's amazing okay so this person is offering you this you're offering that and it's like more energy coming in more love between the two of you that's pretty freaking amazing so um, I feel like this outcome is again some of you are you know could be popping the question could be making some sort of proposal there could be some sort of new beginning I feel like you visualize it you manifest it you planted the seeds for it and again, some of you could be giving up your place and moving in together. Um, so that's a beautiful energy for those of you that do resonate with that. And if this video did resonate with you, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Leave me a, a good nature comment below. And make sure um, when you subscribe to hit that notification bell. Again, if you'd like to donate to my channel, schedule an energy session, or do a tarot reading, my information is in the description box. Okay? Have a fantastic rest of your September. I will see you in the month of October for your next readings. Many blessings to you, Cancer, love and light, and I'll chat with you soon. Okay? Okay. Bye, guys.